have it in court. I have it on manual. And that's the video that guy said, oh, it's grainy, it's a mess, it's this, that. Because that's how I chose it to be. To teach a lesson that I learned from my beautiful Paul in Australia, the Orb Whisperer. He's an amazing human being. His energy is beautiful. I knew it the first time I heard his voice. Dale, too, and Steph the Empath. A lot of us for never having met and being in line and being in each other's life since the start of this mass ascension. Um, now it's like one year, two years, three, four, five, it's like seven years already. And look at just what nonstop every day, posting our orbs, posting our shifts, posting the changes in our bodies, our eyes, our colors, our animals. You have to do it every day. If you didn't document it, it didn't happen. And there is no precedent for this. So how are we going to teach the next generation if we don't start putting it down? You know, trial and error. This is this, this is that. There's no escape pain. You cannot escape pain. There are no shortcuts. And the only way to add that, that complete joy and love like Buddha, like Jesus, is to make it through the worst pain that is given to you from above or from the universe. And you have to get to the point in your life where you're like, I'm so glad you're here. Come here. I can't wait to just kick your ass or not kick your ass just outsmart you that you're just going to dissipate from uh, space entirely imagine that and that has my brain going since I'm a little kid just like that day and night look how it got dark it got blue it's so pretty and that must be the railroad train. So what I'm going to do is I really, really needed to ow, be out here fighting the rib pain. Rib pain. Not fighting with my child for to cut chicken cutlets. I will say, though, she did offer to be taught to learn how to make them so she can make it herself. And I get a good night's sleep tonight. I am totally teaching her how to do that. She could make the meatballs without me. And she could do pasta. If you're not a boil water, she just is on the spectrum. And that genius sometimes... See, it's something so simple. But a, a, a person, a brilliant genius on, on the spectrum... Sometimes too simple doesn't work. Almost like they need things to be complicated and extensive because their brains were made for that. And um, that is quite special. My daughter is very special. Very. And uh, I knew she would be my whole life. Just, you know... Let's see, my feet are killing me. That's an, I haven't eaten yet today. I had to come out here to get away from her begging me over and over and over. Or, you know, you go and cook, and I cook every day, but I don't just cook every day for her. I cook for Jesse, for Karen, for Af whoever needs it, I'm happy to do it. Or maybe I just put together food. For those that are in need, maybe this month or whatever. Um, God knows I've taken from the churches here and and on Christmas and Thanksgiving and Easter to provide for me and my kid because it would have been no other way, you know, because we just moved here. No child support, no car, nothing from him. And I got to say, these people that helped. I think some were from the Catholic Church. Two Catholics, St. Catherine's, St. Vincent's, and then um, 
a non-denominational that didn't matter what your religion was, every single one was accepted in that church. It had, the, you know, uh, I don't remember if it had the crucifix up, but it, if it did, it didn't have Jesus on it. But it was set up that you knew you were in a church, and um, it was speaking about teaching, live and let live, love and let love, all of these, you know, Buddha, and let's just say, uh, Hari, Krishna, and, you know, all the, the Godheads, the deities, it's the same story, and I don't know all the stories, I, I, I'm being, I'm repeating what I've been told by theology mages and nuns and all that, um, and there's always, like, one who's like Jesus, and then the mother that has to make the sacrifice, and then it just, and I know that's true, Leandra was telling me the story of, uh, the Hare, Hare Krishna, and I find the story of Buddha just out of this world, and, um, and also, Ganesha is very interesting, and Kali. Kali is like, just six hands, and she's fire, but she likes sex and love, and but she'll kill you. She's fascinating. She is, wow. And then you've got Judaism, with all your angels, all the hierarchy of angels, and cherubs and archangels and all that but same as catholicism and i think it's the same the kabbalah i think I tried reading it it was too hard for me it was too much that's me going to catholic school growing up catholic school reading the bible over and over doing the novenas very very the hard to get that Kabbalah in the 90s. Madonna, I tried. I tried. Even though you know you're seeing your priest every weekend, Chichoni, with your confession. But whatever, I tried. And, uh, doesn't matter. Just, you know, love begets love. Light begets light. May your heart be steadfast and true, one with the Lord and one with that light. And not that we are all a part of a collective to the greater, but we are all part of each other and of each other. And you got a group and one is dark, they can all go dark. You know, you got one group and one is light. Well, that could help the others that are dim get their light and so on and so forth. Move on out with it. That's just, to me, I just, you know, it's like I maybe remember that from past lives and other places that I've lived, but, um, places I didn't like, too. There was a, a place, it was a little kid, and the world I lived in was all water. No land at all. I gotta tell you, I was not happy. It was always sunny. That was good. But, and then, what are you doing here? Can't get what I want. There was another very recent, during lockdown, um, I had enough, and um, and for some reason, because of COVID and because of lockdown, after being divorced from my husband, in the dream life had become, we were together again, and I had no choice. I hated him, you know, God forgive me, and there's no, I, I would die before I would... <laughs> You know, he had he had me, had his chance, and I took my punishment, my lumps, and I've learned, 
and I've made mistakes, whether I've owned up to them or not. But when things are rough like that, too, that was beautiful. You learn who you are and what you're made of and what you're willing to take and what you're willing to allow your children to see and become. Because they're watching everything. And I was not letting my child see what he was doing and the weak mommy's just going to stay and make my kid feel like she has no one to protect her. Oh, hell no. And I've known that's who I was from the get-go. So in one of these dreams, it was like COVID time, and everybody was on lockdown, and the world was starting to... We were all becoming... We all were... The planet was gone to shit. There was no coming back. It was like there would be a COVID-4, COVID-5, COVID-6. And we knew that the ETs were coming. And they have been coming and teaching us how to treat the Earth properly. How to, you know, not wipe ourselves all out in the next five years. Global warming, killing the animals, you know, all those, you know, not to mention what we do to each other. The atrocities over time that humans have committed on or to humans. I don't think there's anywhere in the universe, undiscovered or not, where that would ever be. I think only here. And, um, and it's all been a preparation to move on up and out. So I've kind of always known that, but I thought was that see my smoke that was a bird. It, see how they come in with the wings like angel wings, or that you know that V shape. And my smoke is never white or gray. It'll make a funnel. That was a portal. It'll go left or right. It'll make three tornadoes at once. And once again, that was indigo. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if the tonight is a good night to join that energy with, even though I'm so tired, I've come out here to clear myself and balance, and I've not done this. It's so long because it's been so cold and snowy and rainy. But I'd be so happy to make my energy sprites join me. And then have the funnels come up and go back and forth. I only did that one time here. Right here. I think actually right here. And then one time in my kitchen. So, maybe... You know, for old times sake, look at, look at that, look how peach. Oh, come on, please do it. For old times sake, we could have you sprites make a couple of, of, uh, uh, like cyclones. And... I think that is fascinating because you don't just do that, but you follow my hand and you travel. It's really, really amazing. Oh, that was beautiful, Joe. Oh my God. Get going. That was green. And that indigo electric purple was outstanding. Now this is blue, it's not green. Sometimes it's that white silver, and that, that those are entities. Those are the elders of the, all the worlds here to teach us. You think you guys are ready? Do I have enough energy in spite of what I've been going through? I'm not at my peak best. Been worse, been better. Just do, please. They should start flying. They should start. Oh, you see that green? They're, there's a lot of green. Pink, you'll go back. 
see if the smoke is going to do something different. And when I see, look at that, if I can go, here we go, if I can, go to you, maybe you can come from my hand, it's been a while, butterflies, hearts, dragonflies, and then Goldie, you are so many different things, and I love each and every one of you. So you can be in my hand, be a fairy, or a rod, or DNA, or a bird, or a phoenix, or a flying heart, or an angel who decorates my tree, or a being that comes through portals, or just a full-on Tinkerbell fairy. I'm just glad to know ya. Unbelievable that you came back. Again and again. You are very special. But I'm not doing so well with the... Oh, with the cyclones. Because I think the last time I was able to, I had one, and then I had two, and I had three orb. And they were interacting with each other, but following my hands up, down, left, right. I'd never seen anything like it, never did anything like that before, and I have no idea what made me do it, but I'm sure glad I did. I think I need to work on that. And as my kidneys get better, and my health starts to get better, and I can start walking again without, you know, doubling over and start feeling stronger, healthier. Not, you know, like almost defeated, like I have to take this. No, I don't have to. I, they, we're not there yet, and I have to stay strong. And I, I could say reverse it. They say there's no cure. All you could do is stop the progression. Well, you know what, Ed? They said he'd never walk, and he'd always, always be on dialysis. One year of dialysis, he's walking, never to be on dialysis again. Because doctors are not there to provide hope. So I'm not going to ever be hopeless. Just won't. I will be not hopeless just to be spiteful. Yeah, I'm a dick like that. Yep, that's what you do. People want to hurt and maim and kill. Purple. Well, then you... Oh, that's beautiful. You just stay with your joy and your love and your creator that made you this kind of unique crystal of light. With, from other worlds, with other languages, isn't just programmed for the ascension to start at this very time in the universe, where for me it was 2015. And that was all my white beam, except it was blue. Thank you. And I think I'll do made a V. <sighs> Let's see if it's cold enough. If I exhale, you can see my breath. <sighs> That's my breath. Okay, let's see if I can do it again. <sighs> 